Welcome to the Howdy Boomy Show. Glad to be back after a couple days off due to family commitments. And gee, Donald Trump gets indicted again. This is the fourth one. This is the state of Georgia. They say this is a little bit more serious because it's a state indictment, but there's holes in everything, and it's going to be interesting. I think maybe they're done, but don't let this just depart Justice Department fool you. They're going to try to get something else on them because now Hunter Biden is going to take center stage. They're not going to be able to deflect anything off of him when they start coming up with the money trail. So it's going to be interesting. They're going to try to put Trump on the front page again. And I believe, I hope that on the Republican debate on Fox, I hope he shows up because he was president of the United States like him, hate him, whatever it is, those two plus years before COVID, the United States was in fantastic shape, both economic wise, minority wise jobs, women jobs, everybody was working higher than they are now. We were respected by our allies, feared by our enemies. He governed tremendously. He loved this country as opposed to his predecessor and opposed like Mr. Biden, who is clueless, absolutely clueless. And hopefully he shows up at the debate, acts presidential and shows these people what being president is all about. I had to laugh because I'm looking at pundits who are saying, realizing, even on the Democratic side, the press who protects this president at all costs, realize that this guy passed go and never collected his $200. So they're looking for alternatives. And they're mentioning Michelle Obama. I had to laugh. You know, you talk about empty suits. Kamala Harris is an empty suit. Michelle Obama is an empty suit. Her qualification, she married Barack. That's a qualification to be president? Let me put it this way. While Barack Obama was a politician in Illinois, his wife was given a job by the hospital consortium as a liaison between the hospitals and the government at an exorbitant cost, like maybe a $400,000 a year position. And when Barack Obama gets elected president of the United States, Michelle follows him to the White House and the position that she had was so important, she did so well, so crucial, that they never filled it again. That tells you something, okay? She is vapid. They're all a scam. Start reading excerpts from the new book, Rising Star, about the Obama family. They're a sham. Talk to Secret Service agents who protected them. They're great at photo ops, vapid at everything else. He's got a puppet now in Joe Biden. Michelle Obama would be the ultimate puppet. Obama's in Washington. Do you know of any ex-president that lived in Washington? None of them. Why? Because he has meetings every morning. He's directing Joe Biden what to do. He realizes Joe Biden is an idiot. He's got to get somebody else who will listen to him. Not many people will because he didn't do that great of a job. Michelle Obama. Kamala Harris. What a joke. But they're black females. You can't say anything about a black female because then you're racist. What a joke. I hope you have a great day. I hope this week goes by without a new indictment. But again, using this Justice Department, what's happening now is it's like the, the boy who cried wolf. So much has happened. And the biggest thing that you get on the takeaways from the Trump indictments and all, all the action taken by this Justice Department is that there is two justice systems. One if your name is Trump and one if your name is Biden. And that's what's coming to the forefront. And that's what's going to come home to roost for Joe Biden. And Hunter now, he's too stupid to get worried. Maybe he's going to spend some time in jail. I hope he does. You and I would. You and I would be gone for a long time. Again, I just hope that 
any of the favors Joe Biden did while president, while vice president, to the Chinese, to the Russians, to anybody who paid the Biden family consortium, no American lost his life. It's a couple of years now since the chaotic exit from Afghanistan. They're, the Taliban is wearing our soldiers' uniforms, using their guns, using our bullets. What a chaotic display by an idiot president. He said Trump was going to withdraw. Trump was going to withdraw if they met certain conditions. Otherwise, he would not. He gave up on the people there, on the Americans there, and now the women are just a memory there. They're not existent. Thank you, Joe Biden. Again, his own Defense Secretary Gates, when he was vice president, made the comment, every foreign policy decision Joe Biden has ever made in his life has been wrong. The record stands intact. He's wrong again if he remembers it. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. Go out and vote. That's how we're going to kick this country back. God bless you. See you tomorrow. God bless the United States of America. Watch the Howdy Boomy podcast on the Howdy Boomy channel on YouTube. It's on TikTok. Very, very succinct, to the point, head-scratching. It's entertaining. God bless you. God bless America.